to not just our church members but also to the visitors in our church as well. Um, I know that there are some visitors who have been here for, with us uh, previously on previous occasions but also there might be some visitors who might be with us here for the first time this, uh, this morning. Are there any visitors among us who are the first time this morning? If you are, would you, can I encourage you to stand up if you are visiting here for the first time this morning? Okay. Well, let's start from this side. Would you like to introduce uh, yourselves, your name and where you come from? My name is Alfredo and I come from... Hello, can you hear me? My name is Alfredo and I come from Austin, Texas. And I bring greetings from the Austin Central Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen. My name is Jesus, so I'm also from Austin, but I'm from a different church. Welcome to our church. We work together at the same company and we went uh, to uh, Beijing and Shenzhen for business and we stopped by Hong Kong for a day to uh, kind of rest and come to church. So we're glad to be here. Amen. We're glad that you join us uh, this morning. A any other visitors on my right hand side? Those who are here for the first time? No? What about this side? On my right hand side, I know this family has been here a couple of times. And uh, what about my right hand side? Any visiting, visiting us for the first time this morning? Not, we'd just like to welcome all of us. Oh, this, sorry, I missed this, uh, this lady here. I'm Rosemary Garbiu. I'm from in Baguio, Philippines. Philippines. Welcome to our church this morning. Let's uh, prepare our hearts for worship. Shall we sing, Redeemed? Uh, uh, let's see. 337. Today, we will be like our friends in the Church of Christ. That is, we will sing in parts and no music, no, no, no instrument. Okay? 337. <clears throat> Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Uh, are we ready to sing? Okay, so on the last verse of Redeemed, the last chorus, His child and forever. What I will do is, I'd say like this, His child and forever, you must stand up, okay? His child and forever, and then I look at His child and forever, His child and forever I am. Is that right? Okay, that's the key. Da 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 Okay, three, three, seven, one, two, three. Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem through His infinite mercy. His child and forever I am. Redeem, redeem. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed. His child and forever I am. Redeemed and so happy in Jesus. No language my rapture can tell. I know that the light of His presence with me doth continually dwell. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed. His child and forever I am. I know there's a crown that is waiting in yonder bright mansion for me. And soon with the saints made perfect, at home with the Lord I shall be ready. Redeemed, redeemed, <laughs> redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, His Son and forever. No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. 
His child and forever. His child and forever. His child and forever. I am. Okay, last chorus. Redeem, redeem. One, two, three. Redeem, redeem. Redeem by the blood of the Lamb. His child and forever, his child and forever I am. Remain standing, remain standing. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Let us sing <coughs> our intro, Spirit of the Living God. Mm. One, two, three. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for the great privilege to worship you on this beautiful Sabbath. We invite your Holy Spirit to be with us so that our worship may be acceptable to you. Once again, bless our congregation, bless all our church members, even though they are not here. Bless this worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This communion Sabbath, the theme is that we will partake of this communion again in heaven with Jesus. 434, and the last clause says, and Jesus himself will be there. Da, 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 da. 434, one, two, three. We speak of the realms of the blessed, that country so bright and so fair. And after its glories confessed, but what must it be to be there? We speak of his pathway of gold, its walls decked with jewels so rare, his wonders and pleasures untold, but what must it be to <clears throat> We speak of its freedom from sin, from sorrow, temptation, and care, from trials without and within, but what must it be to be there? We speak of its service of love, the robes which the glorified wear, of the church of the f above, but what must it be to be there? Our mourning is all at an end when raised by the life-giving word. We see the new city descend adorned as a bride for her Lord. The city so holy and clean, no 
can breathe in the air. No gloom of affliction of sin, no shadow of evil is there. Do thou midst temptation and woe, for heaven my spirit prepare. And shortly I also shall know and feel what it is to be there. Then all the bright fields we shall roam in glory celestial and fair with saints and with angels at home and Jesus himself will be there. As, as far as possible. As far as possible, please kneel in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we indeed do speak of your realms. We speak and long for the eternal kingdom of glory that we will see and experience. But we know that even as we look forward to the kingdom of glory, we are now experiencing the kingdom of grace. And because of the grace you have given us, we can now come boldly before the throne of grace, asking for mercy, asking for relief, asking for peace, asking for love. Father, this is the communion Sabbath. As we come here, we want to prepare our hearts to remember the significance and the meaning of communion service. So we pray that you take our minds away from the realms of this world. We pray that you lift our hearts and minds to heavenly places. Help us to see the grace that you've given to us. Help us to experience your love for us. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you have died for us to redeem this world from the dominion of the Satan. And as we experience communion service, we remember your body who is crucified for us, the bread of life. We also remember the blood shed for the remission of our sins. So we are grateful and thankful and we pray that you help us to transform into your image and your law will be written in our hearts day after day. Father, while we are thankful that we are here this morning to worship you, we also remember those who are unable to be here this morning for various reasons. We pray for your presence to be especially with them for whatever reasons they are. And I'd like to pray, give a special prayer for those who are sick and ill and because of the infirmities that have been kept from church. And this morning, we'd like to pray especially for Sister Baki, who we have heard is very ill this morning. Your healing presence be with her. There are many others that we are unable to name this morning, but you know that who they are, Lord. In our hearts, our loved ones, our friends, that we commit all this into your hands. Father, we pray that this morning we focus our mind upon your word. As your words are spoken and delivered by Pastor Cho, may your spirit be with him and with his lips. For this we ask and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Our offering today will go to our church budget. In Luke 12, 6 to 7 says, Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with a spiritual blessing and heavenly places in Christ. We are blessed people, both, in, both individually, individually and collectively. But what do we do with our blessing? Do we share them? God's blessings are to be shared. 
those of us who are blessed must become a blessing by blessing others. Appeal. Give to the cross. Give to the cause of Christ. Be blessed today and we'll be blessed to ourselves. Our deacons are ready to serve us. Let us sing meditatively 281, I gave my life for thee, 281. Uh, da, 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 da. One, two, three. I gave my life for thee, my precious blood I shed, that thou mightst ransomed be. And quickened from the dead I gave, I gave my life for thee What hast thou given for me? I gave, I gave my life for thee. What hast thou given for me? Last stanza, I suffered much for thee. I suffered much for more than thy tongue can tell. More than thy tongue can tell Of bitterest agony To rescue thee from hell I've borne, I've borne it all for thee. What hast thou borne for me? I've borne, I've borne it all for thee. What hast on for me. Shall we rise? Da, 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 da. One, two, three. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Our most precious Heavenly Father, this moment, Lord, we thank you so much for the Sabbath that you have given to us. Uh, thank you so much for the tithes and offering that we just received. Bless this amount and multiply so that our church ministry will uh, share the blessing that you have given to each one of us. Thank you, loving Father, for being with us always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, church. Are you surprised? Today is a very exceptionally special Sabbath. Sorry. Exceptionally special the Sabbath. Do you know why? Uh, as you know already, today is the uh, communion uh, service Sabbath. At the same time, we have the food washing service before our communion service. But at the same time, we can realize the importance of our individuals. Also, sometimes we do not realize that uh, some of the uh, little uh, part of the worship, which was uh, quite important, but uh, because of this sudden uh, situation, we eventually appreciate and also realize the importance. So once again, we are all important people. We are all important to God. Do you know, especially these days, in, uh, there is a world event that attract the people's attention. Can you just uh, guess what event is going on now? Oh, FIFA World Cup. Huh? People are crazy about it. Maybe not in some countries yet, though, but the most of the world, they are very crazy about FIFA World Cup. These are the countries, uh, according to their, um, as you know, that uh, 32 countries uh, participated in the FIFA World Cup in Brazil. And you see there's some uh, squares on each flag, the four squares. These are the countries from Asia, Australia, and Iran, Japan, and South Korea. These four countries joined the uh, FIFA World Cup. But uh, unfortunately, and sadly enough, these four countries were eliminated in the first round. No country won any single match in the first round. But all the uh, soccer players, all the footballers in this uh, FIFA World Cup in Brazil, they are very famous players in the world at the same time, at least in their own country. But some players, they are very famous in their own country, but uh, in the other countries, maybe they are not known. I'd like to show you some pictures. Probably you may recognize them. Maybe you may not recognize them. Do you know who they are? Yes. Ah, yes, I hear that some say yes, some say no. Who is the yellow guy? Neymar, Neymar from Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> what about the middle one? Messi. Lionel Messi from Argentina. Argentina. What about the red one? Ronaldo from Portugal. Yeah. You know them very well. They are the most I mean, they are very famous soccer players in the world right now. At the same time, they are one of the most expensive footballers in the world. They all play as a forward. Neymar, Lionel Messi, and Ronaldo. But in
or defense is more important than offense? Which one is more important? Both, right? But very interestingly, people remember mostly only forward players. Right? Do you remember who are the uh, defense in the uh, Brazilian team? What about Argentina? of the Brazilian team. Maybe this, at least these two countries, so far the uh, Brazil and Argentina, they went to the uh, second round, right? Advanced to the second round, but uh, Portugal, they are eliminated, unfortunately, even though they are quite a uh, uh, top team, though. So, in Brazilian team, do you know the uh, goalkeeper of this very well-known Brazilian team? Then I will give you a clue. Do you know this guy? He is the goalkeeper of the Brazilian team. But nobody remembers him. Right? His name is, I don't know, I don't know his name either. His <laughs> name is Julio Cesar. Julio <laughs> Cesar. Okay? Even though he uh, is taking care of the most important responsibility as a goalkeeper, but he's not relatively well known to the people, even at least to us. Like this, in the Bible, there are so many stories about people. Some of them, they are very well known, but some of them, they are not quite well known. Even some of them, they are not known at all. In the story, we see their unique situation. At the same time, we see God's special calling upon them. And also we see their reaction, their decision makings. And also we see the, what happened to them as a result of their decision or their reaction to the calling of God. Do you remember my last sermon? My last sermon was in the book of Exodus chapter 15. At the time, I just preached about a very well-known woman in the Bible. Miriam, right? But uh, Today, I have to just preach about unknown woman in the Bible. <laughs> so after the chapter 15, I just try to find out any good uh, Bible text talking about the uh, unknown woman in the Bible. But I couldn't find. Can you guess the reason? Because they are unknown. That's why I couldn't find. Because they are unknown women in the Bible. Almost after the uh, 20 chapters from chapter 15, I arrived at the today's Bible text. Today's Bible text is talking about unspecified, multi-unknown women. This is today's Bible text. Exodus 35, verse 29, 25 to 29. Let me just read it to you. All the women who were gifted artisan spun yarn with their hands and brought what they had spun of blue, purple, and scarlet, and fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom spun yarn of goat's hair 
The children of Israel brought a freewill offering to the Lord. All the men and women whose hearts were willing to bring material for all kinds of work which the Lord, by the hand of Moses, had commanded to be done. Let me just give you some uh, brief background of this Bible text. The reason why uh, this Bible text is quite important, especially regarding the uh, old women is here, here is, for the first time in the Bible, women are specifically mentioned as participants in both the giving and the preparation of materials for giving. So this is the first incident we can find uh, mentioned as the uh, uh, mentioned the women specifically mentioned. At Sinai, God gave the Israelites his law. He also gave them the blueprints of a portable worship center, which is tabernacle. Men and women quickly contributed the wood, cloth, gold, silver, and precious stones required. From this Bible text, we can learn a very important little lesson. All too often in our day, we limit the idea of spiritual gifts to spiritual ministries. When we think about service in the church, we think about big things. In order to serve the church, in order to serve in the church, in order to work in a specific department in the church, we should have some courage in Hong Kong Adventist International Church. We have so many women. And also, relatively smaller men too. Among us, there are some well-known members, and there are some relatively unknown members. Even there are some anonymous members in our church. Even though they come to our church, nobody recognized them, even they came or not. However, the thing we have to remember, the church is composed by these three different kinds of people. Well-known people, unknown people, and anonymous people. At the same time, this church is established by their dedication, their sacrifice. By instinct, people want to be known to the others. However, Jesus himself, he showed us very important example. He told us, he showed us the importance of anonymous to become uh, the anonymous people in the world. Because he, even he himself became anonymous one. Some months ago, Elder Peter Chow, he introduced about the, our human, I mean, how we are small in this universe. He illustrated that with uh, some pictures. So based upon his illustra illustration, can people recognize people in the universe? Can you mark people in the universe? Even though we think we are very well-known people in the world, but in the universe, we are a little, just single dot. It's almost like anonymous. We are almost no one, nothing. But for this anonymous people, God, Jesus himself, he came, he came down to this anonymous 
earth and he became the another anonymous one because the stone which was really the uh, stone so basically they just brought unhanded stone and just fit they installed in a sense some kind of natural installation but when they brought so many stones there was a very big stone that they could not use at all at the time at least in the beginning so they rejected this stone and they just put it aside but at the end when they had to finish the building of this temple they need to have a big corner stone they eventually they found the big stone in the beginning they rejected the stone but they took the stone in order to use as the uh, chief cornerstone this stone that, should, that stone should be strong enough at the same time should be uh, endurable with uh, many different situation such as weather something like that and finally they found that this is quite suitable for the uh, cornerstone so when they put it back this is the uh, history of Psalm 118 verse 22 this rejected stone this anonymous stone symbolize Jesus Christ this anonymous stone this rejected stone became the chief cornerstone of the temple do you think you are anonymous stone in the church be happy because we will become the chief cornerstone of the church furthermore in first Peter chapter 2 verse 4 it says that the cornerstone that rejected anonymous stone became living stone why don't we invite this anonymous stone this rejected stone Jesus Christ in our life when we invite this anonymous stone Jesus Christ then we will have living stone in our life Jesus Christ do not be afraid to become the anonymous people in the church anonymous, anonymous people in the world because Bible says God has chosen the foolish things God has chosen the weak things God has chosen the best things God has chosen those are despised God has chosen the rejected ones. God has chosen the anonymous people for his people, for his ministries. This is the example. When Jesus came to this world, he chose anonymous people, fishermen. They were totally unknown to the society. Even though they think they have a job, good job, but in their society, fishermen, oh, fishermen, who are they? Are they important? No. They were the anonymous people. But God, Jesus, chose this fishermen as his disciples. So once again, our Christian history 
is the history of the anonymous people. History of the accumulation of anonymous people's martyrdom. Because of these anonymous martyrs, it brought great growth of the anonymous Christianity. At the same time, gospel has been preached. Today, God also invites us to another very special anonymous community. Recently, I have been invited to a special meeting. And an inviter, he knows who I am. But the boss of his, boss of this inviter, she didn't know who I was. So when I just uh, shook hands and he introduced uh, myself to his boss, and she said, Adventist Church? Seventh-day Adventist Church. Seventh-day Adventist Church members. Are we known to the society? Are we unknown to the society? Or are we the anonymous to the society? But as Seventh-day Adventist Church member, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to be anonymous. Today, God gives us another very important evangelical mission. God called the anonymous people just like us, and also he invited the this anonymous people to invite another anonymous people. Go into the highways and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. And they found both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. This is our mission as Seventh-day Adventist Church members. Our church has prepared this special, another invitation as an obedience to God's command. July 1st, health fair. We will invite anonymous people to our health fair. Our target number was 300 people, but we have already reached 300 people. 300 people reserved this health fair. So, my question, are we ready? Are we ready to meet these anonymous people? At the same time, we are also looking for the anonymous people to serve this anonymous guest on July 1st. Are, you, are we ready to serve this anonymous people? Thank you. What do you see on the screen? Napoleon. Let's, let's imagine this is some kind of a movie. So when you see this picture, the first thing you can think of is Napoleon, right? So when we make a movie, there are three different kinds of the categories, in a sense, especially among actors or actresses. First, main actor, just like Napoleon, yeah? Second, supporting actors. 
third category would be extras. <laughs> Nobody remembers the congregation of the multitude beside Napoleon. People, will, uh, people want to be the major main actor in our life movie. At the same time, this world teaches us you should be the main actor, featured actor, superstar. Do not think of supporting actor or extra at all. But in the Bible, just like today's Bible text, there are so many anonymous extras. They are all just normal people, just like us. But in their life, they did their best to play a very important role in the Bible story. Just imagine, without extras, this movie, let's say there is only Napoleon and some people here then in the front. Can it be a good movie? No. When you say in the movie, this is main actor, this is supporting actor, these are the extras, is based upon the uh, writer's decision or cameras. But in our life, we do not have the boundaries between these three characters. Even in our spiritual life, in front of God, there is no extra. There is no supporting actors. There is no supporting actress at all. We are all main actor, main actress, major, leading superstar. In God's eye, we are all main character. Anonymous main character. to invite the anonymous stone, Jesus Christ, as our main character in our life. We are going to have a special ceremony to invite Jesus Christ as our main character. Just like Jesus who showed us humble, humility, we will follow his role model through a foot washing service. As we rededicate, redecide, recommit ourselves, we are going to live like Jesus. By eating the bread, by eating the juice, we invite Jesus Christ as our main character in our life. Once again, as we join these two important services, let us remember our main character in our life, the anonymous stone who became the living stone, the Jesus Christ. Now I'd like to invite all of you to join the foot washing and communion service. At this time, we will have a special music first. So let's listen to the Pioneer Memorial Church Choir.
Okay, happy Sabbath, brothers and sisters. <laughs> happy Sabbath. Um, in Psalms chapter 9, 3 to 4, it says, When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? It is really hard to believe that the king of the universe, with all his, in his, all his glory, that he chose to care about us, but he does. And because of his grace, his sufficient and amazing grace, we experience each day, because of that grace, we are saved. Today, we will offer special music, and the songs is Amazing Grace. Bye. 
Thank you very much, young people from the Pioneer Memorial Church. Through the pastor's words, through God's word, and through the song, I think we've been touched. We've been invited and reinvited to participate in this communion service. We in the Seventh-day Adventist Church follow an open communion, which means that anyone who believes that he or she is saved by the blood of Jesus Christ is invited to participate. Let not anyone judge anybody else, but let everybody who participates examine his or her own heart. And let us participate with a joyful heart, inviting this anonymous but cornerstone into our lives. We can walk down that way, and the dining room is the place for our foot washing, and we'll come back after that. Let us keep this hall, Morse Hall, as a garden of prayer. I know that many of us have thanksgiving. We have come with a heavy heart. Let us make this hall a garden of prayer.